Hey guys, something a bit different today and this is a very random intro because actually I've finished the day. We've done what we're gonna do, or should I say we're heading down to because I'm pretending to make this an intro, uh, to my favorite go-kart place which is Daytona and Sandown Park. So I'll cut to the go-kart racing now and I'll see you in a minute. Ready, Joe? That, was that a model pose there? Right, so that's it, over 40 minute session. I haven't done a session that long for a while and I'm absolutely screwed. Um, good man Joel over there. It's first time in the D-Max carts and first time to this circuit. And he was like two or three tenths off me, which without blowing my own trumpet is pretty good because obviously I come here a lot and I normally, normally sort of towards the top. So that's it, very impressive and to hold on for 40 minutes. <laughs> my, my hands are like, <laughs> they're shaking. <laughs> but anyway, it was a good workout. It means I don't have to go to the gym today, so that's, that's always a bonus. Um, and we can go and have a well-deserved pint, I guess. I think it's definitely in order. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, oh, there we go, it's a bit quiet now. You can probably hear me. Um, anyway, so I just thought I'd do a quick walk around of these carts that we're in. They're not your average go-kart. In fact, they're the fastest sort of go-karts that the public can hire in the UK. Um, they are 21 brake horsepower Rotax D-Max. I've got a piece of paper here because I'm going to get all the facts wrong. Um, but Josh over there is just giving me this. So, so they're Rotax Evo 125 cc's, put out 21 brake horsepower. Uh, they're water cooled, maximum speed of about 70 miles an hour, depending on the circuit obviously and who's, who's uh, behind the wheel. Uh, they're a Birrell race sash chassis and they've got Bridgestone like hard compound tyres on them. And trust me, if you've never been or if you've, if you've done any kind of go-karting before but you haven't been in a road tax, you will be blown away by how fast these things are. And I genuinely think they're brilliant for 
all sorts of car control if you can control one of these it, in a manner at speed don't you reckon like anyone that can drive a go-kart well is usually pretty you can you can take a lot of that skill uh, and practice into your car to a certain extent because these things are so snappy if you can catch a sort of slide in one of these then you should be able to catch it in in most most cars I reckon um, but yeah but either way they're just fun they're a good way to get your adrenaline out and you can't lose your license so that's always a bonus but anyway so that's my little tour of the D-Max go-kart down here at Daytona in Sandown Park oh I'm getting old <laughs> uh, but yeah and that's the circuit I'll sort of put a little circuit display in now so you can see it. But it's 900 meters and it's got a bit of everything. A bit of fast, a bit of slow, tight and twisty. Anyway, I'm gonna go because I'm squinting on the camera. So this is Joel. Hello everyone. Who's come over from Oz, uh, massive petrol head. I'll put a link to his Instagram below because, uh, is it private? Or not? No, no. Public. Okay, perfect. So um, he has an incredible collection of cars and is massively into his cars. So what are you currently running? Uh, the current daily drive is a uh, 2005 M3 CS. Lovely. In Interlagos Blue, the unique colour. Yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah. And the CS was the real sweet spot, wasn't it? Of, of all of, is it manual? Or? Yeah, no, flappy paddles, flappy unfortunately. Paddles. But, yeah. um, you know, my view to that is you've got to view it for what it is, it's period. It was toward the start of the, uh, you know, automated, uh, like you've had all gearboxes. Yep. You can't judge it with a dual clutch gearbox today. You've got to you know, view it in period and it's pretty good when you're on it. It's annoying in car parks. Yes. Really annoying in car parks. You're never sure when the clutch is going to bite and lots of stuff. But when you're on it, it's, it's great, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure I'd prefer three pedals, but uh, I picked the CS because well, it's one of 275 like right-hand drive CSs that were made worldwide. Amazing. Oh, is that worldwide, that yeah, number? Yeah. So that's why they're worth so much yeah, over here. About, I think it was about 3,000 in left-hand drive. And yeah, really, yeah. really low number. So the, the, they're the numbers that I've dug up anyway, whether they're right or not, I don't know. Yep. And, uh, yeah, and then the other the other steer I've just retired as my daily drive was a, was a uh, 88 UR Quattro. <laughs> so he had it. How long do you have that as your daily? Uh, daily that for about three years three yeah. years and he's a family man <laughs> like we're talking well now three kids or whatever yeah. but an Audi Quattro 88 yeah, whatever I thought I was made. but uh, just what everyone says yeah. sure when things go wrong it can be a bit expensive but they're they're bulletproof oh they're, yeah they're rally homologated and, yeah you know, no it's just so cool and unusual yeah. you don't normally I don't think many people can say that about no, their daily can no, they no, no. It's, it's good fun I just you know you've got to if you love cars you've got to drive something that excites you a bit and, Every time I get into the Quattro, it gives me a little buzz, and, yeah. and uh, even more so now that I've retired it. Yeah. Every time I get in it now, it's it's really special. Car, sure. So, yeah, it's good. And and you've got a bit of a project going on uh, yeah, as well a, uh, in yeah. your in your five minutes of spare time that you probably I don't know glacially paced uh, project. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah a, 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 I'm doing a 1973 2.8 RSR um, kind of. You know, tribute, but being pretty faithful with proper RSR flares, the real sized wheels and tyres, so not yep. 15 by 9s and 15 by 11s on the rear, so proper sized tyres. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, right, oh those ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that, that'd be great. And an old uh, period uh, race engine, flat six from the, that was raced in period in the late 70s. Wow. RSR cams and twin plug andial heads uh, people probably know what andial is they were they were the you know the go-to people to build Porsche race engines in in North America in the in the 80s right and, right uh, so then they, they, they know like their stuff engines yeah, so yeah heads from that and the crankcase has all been doweled and shuffle pinned and you know all the magic stuff they do there pretty cool little bit of kit mechanical fuel injection hairy wow. chested mechanical fuel injection so yeah really, yeah real real little angry animal. Yeah, well I can't wait to hopefully see that one day when it's ready in about 25 years. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get there, I'll get there. You just gotta come and visit me in Australia when I finish. Yeah, 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 oh, 100%. Yeah, that, that'll be my ticket. I'll yeah, be like, yeah, yeah right, I'm coming. It's time to review a Porsche. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Tax right up front. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, yeah, yeah. Um, nice, and uh, so we've just been, 
I just did a fake intro, so that was before the go-karting. And now it's been we're done by the sun, it's now gone down. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah, the light's too similar. Uh, but yeah, it was fun, hey? The, so oh. one, uh, before I say, like, basically Joel, I go go-karting a fair amount, I haven't been for a while, but I, I get a lot of people either giving it the big one, and they're the, usually the ones that turn up and are actually really crap in a go-kart, or the ones that are quite silent and tend to be quite good. Uh, I've never invited anyone down to a go-karting session that number one, well Joel's, you've never driven go-karts in the UK I'm, I assume. Not in the UK. No. Ne never in the UK, so obviously not at Sandown Park. And and you've never driven anything more than a slow four-stroke go-kart? Yeah, the old like... Dagga, 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 So I figured you were obviously very good at driving because you know, I've seen your Instagram and stuff, but you just never know. And uh, I'm relieved to say that I was quicker, but... <laughs> But only by what two or three tenths? Or point, point, point three, I think. Point three, three tenths. Which and we'll get, him, we'll get him next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you will. He's not getting invited next time because I'm, I'm worried he would get me next time. But um, <laughs> so it's very close. And to be fair, the field out there, there was only six or seven of us, and everyone was top five was uh, was that point six of a second point over six the top of, five. It was top five. Close. And everyone's times are super consistent. So it was a really good session, um, but very unusual. It's normally you'd normally go out there and there'd be a massive selection of you know very good people to very poor people um but today was 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 yeah it was great the conditions were lovely weren't they oh, sunshine bluebird day yeah right. yeah we're just out celebrating for beer now um and that's it really i want to don't want to keep this video don't want to drag on too much talk too much because i'm good at doing that and then it just gives me more editing to do which is always a pain in the ass so uh and also the lights going and we need to get back to london um but cool but yeah nice to nice to meet you joel Cheers. probably um more than just instagram thanks for coming um on. yeah no Appreciate worries it. and cheers mark as well if you ever watch this you can maybe stuff it under his nose yeah and mark <laughs> yes. a common mate unbeknownst to us we were riding mountain bikes at the same, the same time crew in australia yeah. at the same time and didn't know each other now cars and instagram have brought us together so. brought us back together yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's crazy times um but yeah cool guys thanks for tuning in and Remember to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Don't leave any rude comments. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cheers, guys. Take it easy. See you later.